Hi, this is David, and I'm back with you once again. And with this video, I thought I'd show you how to whiten teeth and possibly fix some gaps in the teeth. And I have two different images pulled up, a gentleman and a woman. And what we can do is we'll basically just start with this. Uh, what we're going to do is go down to the adjustment layers, which is a little yin yang sign at the bottom of the layers palette, and click on that. And we're going to scroll all the way down to the hue saturation layer. And then with this, what we're going to do is go to the the yellow layer and go to saturation and we're going to dial the saturation down and then what we're going to want to do is actually bring the lightness up so we're going to kind of bump that up a little bit until we see the teeth kind of a little closer to what we're looking to, to achieve and i'm going to ahead and go ahead and close out of that now since we're on the mask what i want to do is cover the effect up so to cover the effect up i'm going to do a command i And then basically what we're going to do is while we're on the mask layer uh, and actually on the mask, what we're going to do is paint in white to allow the effect to come through. So to do that, I'm going to go ahead and click the, the brush or hit the B for brush. And then basically what I want to do is just paint in, paint in white here to bring the effect in. Let me get our little larger brush. And you can see how it's just basically pulling the yellow out of the teeth. And this way you can kind of come, come through real fast and selectively do this really quick. And a, a lot of times, you know, people will keep whitening. Um, we can actually add another layer to this and do like brightness and contrast and kind of bump that up even a little more and basically do the same thing again, do a command I and then basically just paint that back in again. Um, now, what I see a lot is where people will take it a little too far where it almost looks like people have chiclets in their mouth. So um, what I would typically do, since it's on a layer mask, what we can do is go in and change the opacity. So this to me looks way too light, but what we can do is just take the opacity and drag it back so it's not quite so white. And then you can kind of see the difference in the effect. You can still bring it back further if you want. You can save these as PSD files and then make the adjustments again too. So if we come back in here and basically on this we can do the same thing where we add some of the color back into the teeth so they're not just strictly white white and um, that does a pretty good job for us. And I'm going to go ahead and duplicate the layer. I just drug it down and duplicated the layer and that gives me a pretty good idea or a pretty good example of what I like to have the teeth to look like. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, flatten these, these layers here into one. I'm going to merge these together. And to do that, I just highlighted them and then right clicked on them to get to the merge layers. And then what I want to do is I want to actually come in here and I'm going to extend the teeth over just a little bit. So to do that, I'm going to grab the quick selection tool, which is up here. And I'm going to select the tooth. And then what I want to do is do a command J to copy it to its own layer. And then when I do that, I'm going to go ahead and hit free transform, which is the command T. I'm going to right click over it and do warp. And then what I can do is selectively grab the edge of this and kind of just scoot it over just a little bit. And then I'm going to go up here to the check and do that. And then you can kind of see the difference, how I extended that over just a little bit. And that took that, that larger gap out. And what I can also do is do the same with this tooth. So I need to come back down to this layer, select that layer because that's what we want to select. Use the, the quick select tool and I'm just going to select that fast. Do a command J to copy that layer to its own layer. Do a command T to free transform it. Do a right click, go to warp. And then basically do the same thing. We can cheat it just a little bit more. and just kind of fill that space and go ahead and click the check. And that's filled that gap pretty well. So if you look what we've done, there's before and after. And then what we can do is go ahead and can highlight all these layers, do a right click and merge layers. And then what I would probably do, since it's still a little dark, what I would probably do at this point is just grab my stamp tool, have it on a lower opacity, about 18, 20-ish, a little bigger brush, and just go over this a little bit just to fill in that dark area. And that hides it pretty well. So we have the before and after on that one. Does a real nice job. Now we have this other one, which is a real similar thing what we want to do. We want to go ahead and go to the 
yin yang sign at the bottom, which is the adjustment layers. Go down to hue saturation. Go to the yellow. Dial down the saturation on the yellow. Bring up the lightness. Click out of that, close that out. And I'm going to go ahead and do Command I to invert that layer mask. And then I'm going to paint back in the effect. So I'm going to go to my brush, which is B. And I'm going to paint back in in white so that allows that effect to come through. And I've seen some people where they'll actually do a selection of just the teeth and work on it as a selection. Um, there's all sorts of different ways to sort of achieve the same thing. Uh, I just do it this way just because I feel I have a pretty good control over it. And that looks pretty good right there. So I'm going to go ahead and duplicate the background layer. So I'm going to do Command J to duplicate the background layer. I'm going to go ahead and also highlight the hue saturation layer. Right click and merge those together. And then what I'm going to do now is, is fill in the gap. So I'm going to go to the Quick Selection tool. I'm going to select the tooth. I'm going to do a Command J to copy the tooth to its own layer. Do a Command T to free transform. Right click over that. Go to Warp. And then what we're going to do is just kind of scoot that out just a little bit. Just pull that over. And go to Check. Go back down to the background layer. We're going to highlight this area now with a quick selection tool. Go ahead and grab the selection. Do a Command J. A Command T to free transform. Right click. Warp. And then we'll just kind of pull that over just a little bit too. And kind of fill that layer or fill that hole in. And then we're going to go ahead and check it. And we have a before and after. And then what we can do is at this point I'm going to go ahead and highlight these three layers. Right click, merge those together. And then we can do some detail work because it did cause a little bit of a problem here. So I can just grab my stamp tool. I'm going to do the same thing here where I'm going to kind of lighten this up a little bit. So I'm just going to sample next to the, next to the area with about a 20% opacity and then just drag down a couple times just to kind of lighten that up. And then what I can do is actually go in here with a little more opacity, a little smaller brush, and just kind of tight, just clean this up a little bit. It got a little jagged there. So I'm just going to kind of smooth that out a little bit. Just kind of make it a little nicer transition. And there we go. And we can spend more time if you want to spend a little more time on that. Um, usually on these, we're not doing full mouth shots. So when you put this on the, the regular size image, it really uh, just blends in really nice. So we got the before and after. Real simple way to go in and clean up someone's teeth in about a minute or two. So hopefully this helps you out. If you have any comments, don't hesitate to shoot me a comment. Please subscribe if you like the videos and uh, see you next time.